Hello and welcome to today's Monday Update. Uh, this past weekend, uh, we had a student ministry event at an escape room. Wow, uh, that was a great time, lots of fun. I think we had about 20 people there. Everybody got out, uh, so thanks be to God for that. What a joyful event that was for our young people. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, monthly student ministry events like that, uh, so be sure to be on the lookout and get involved uh, with our young people for that. Uh, as we begin this new week, uh, let us think uh, on the words of Jesus, John chapter 10, verse 11, when Jesus says, The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Uh, Jesus defines what it means to be the good shepherd on the basis of sacrifice, laying down his life for the sheep. Jesus, he is the good shepherd and you are precious to him. He has laid down his life for you so that you can have life in him. Jesus, the embodiment of God's goodness, God's love, God's sacrifice, giving his life for you and for me. And because of that, we get to be one flock with one shepherd. Well, looking ahead, uh, lots of things that are happening uh, within the flock here at St. Luke. Uh, we have a men's event coming up on Saturday, Bacon, Bibles, and Brotherhood. That is this Saturday at 8.30 a.m. Uh, let me invite you to put that on your calendar to sign up for that. But also, invite a friend, invite a neighbor, invite a family member. Uh, then also, uh, October 5th. Uh, we have an event called Flourishing Mind, Thinking Deeply, Thinking Well. We're going to have a, a special guest speaker coming in, uh, offering two different talks. Uh, it's going to be a great event. You're not going to want to miss it. October 5th, that's at 9 a.m. at Meridian Campus. Looking a little further ahead... Uh, we have a day of service on October 12th. Uh, there's going to be multiple opportunities uh, as one flock uh, for us to serve in various ways, uh, whether our coat bank, our community kitchen, uh, other ways that we're going to be encouraging neighbors and serving uh, co our community. So keep an eye out for that, but be, uh, be aware October 12th, there's going to be lots of service opportunities coming up for you. And then finally, uh, we have our growth groups. Uh, growth groups are getting started again. They're going to begin a uh, meeting in October. If you're not part of a growth group, you really ought to be. It's a powerful way uh, to take our worshiping life of the church and, and bring it down to an intimate scale when you get to gather together with, with other brothers and sisters in Christ, gathering around the Word of God, gathering in prayer. A lot of times there's a meal involved too. So if you're interested in getting part, uh, getting connected to a growth group, uh, reach out to the church office, reach out to Pastor Stainbrook or myself, and we will help get you connected. Well, thanks for taking the time to watch this Monday update. God's blessings to you this week as you live as one who knows the peace and the power of the cross.